The discovery of Tutankhamun in 1922 was quickly deemed the find of the century. Across the globe, people wanted to know what was inside. Today, our themed week continues with a top 10 list, the most interesting finds from the tomb of the boy king. So, in at number 10, we have the first on our list, Tutankhamun's alabaster jars. Probably my favourite jar from the tomb was an exquisite alabaster perfume jar. It represented the bounty of the Nile and the hope that the Nile would continue to provide for the king and his queen, whose names were inscribed upon the base of the jar. In at number 9 on our list of artefacts is Tutankhamun's collection of chariots. Tutankhamun's tomb yielded six dismantled, complete chariots of incredible sophistication and quality. Over the years, five of the six chariots have been reassembled for display in Cairo Museum, and also replicas have been tested out in the field. Of course, they are great fun. At number eight on our interesting artifacts list is the portable shrine to Anubis. This shrine was carried in the king's funerary procession and left in the tomb facing east in the direction of the afterlife. It is a potent symbol of protection for the boy king and indeed the entire necropolis. Along with the afterlife, Anubis was also associated with mummification. In at number seven, we have Tutankhamun's rather amazing corslet. A corslet is usually an element of armour covering the torso, and Tutankhamun's was exquisite. Formed from various precious materials, the centrepiece of the corslet is a scene depicting Tutankhamun being escorted to meet the Theban deity Amun. Well, number six on our list would certainly get you out of bed in the morning. These are Tutankhamun's trumpets. This pair of trumpets, one made of silver, one made of bronze, are the oldest still working trumpets in the world. On the 16th of April 1939, 150 million listeners to the BBC heard them played for the first time in 3,000 years. At number five, we're halfway through our list and we have the Golden Throne of Tutankhamun. The style of this throne was popular during Egypt's 18th dynasty. The throne is constructed out of wood overlaid with gold, glass and semi-precious stones. The focus of the throne is a scene depicting Tutankhamun and his queen Ankhesenamun. Number four on our list of interesting artifacts are the Guardian statues. This pair of life-size statues were found on either side of the sealed entrance to Tutankhamun's burial chamber. They depict the boy king himself. It is thought that the dark wood chosen for their flesh symbolizes the rich, fertile black silt of the Nile. In at number three, of course, in a mummy's tomb, we simply had to examine the canopic jars. Such jars are typical in ancient Egyptian mummy burials. Each one contains an organ from the body. Typically, the stomach, intestines, lungs, and liver. In the case of Tutankhamun, the jars and the chest they were stored in were made from alabaster, a beautiful use of the stone. Our penultimate pick, number two on the list, is Tutankhamun's golden death mask. This iconic mask was found covering the head and shoulders of Tutankhamun in his coffin. It was prized off by Carter and his team. A idealized portrait of Tutankhamun, formed in gold and lapis lazuli, amongst other precious stones, it is a potent symbol of his status, authority, and power. Finally, number one on our list may surprise you. It's the king's collection of sandals. Tutankhamun's footwear was incredible and extremely well made with some fascinating details. The reason they're at number one on our list is because more than any other artifact in this top ten, they get as close to the king himself. Tutankhamun wore these shoes in life. How cool is that? Well folks, that's our list of the top ten most interesting artifacts from Tutankhamun's tomb. 
If you have anything you'd like to add to this list, all you need to do is comment below.